Welcome to Emotionally Speaking. When we look at regular normal situations with an emotional lens and see what's happening, what kind of emotions are occurring. Now we've got an interesting question this week from Kolya Lin, who on Facebook asked me, she said, I want to look at silence. And I think that empaths uh, could have unspoken conversations. Here's my answer. Right. Um, I think I want to switch the idea of empaths into empathic people because everybody's an empath. So we all have unspoken conversations every day. For instance, if you drive, you couldn't make it through down the street without having unspoken conversations with people. People who are walking, people who are biking, other drivers. We are always looking at people and deciding what are you doing? What? Okay, what am I doing? Okay, I'm going to go. That sort of thing. So we're always having unspoken conversations. Now, one of the things I say is I love to have very empathic friends who are grounded and have some skills because it is fun to go and people watch with them. And we can just lean into each other and, and I can go. And they're like, right? So you don't need a lot of words. Um, if you are engaged empathically, and, and that includes driving, you've got to be not using words because the other people can't hear you. You're in a car. So as you go through your day, watch the amount of interactions you have with people without words. You're standing in line, and someone wants to cut in, and they look at you, and you're like, you know, and they're like, okay, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm, I apologize. Or when it's your turn, when you finally get up to the counter, the, um, the, the person at the counter would look up at you and sort of, um, you know, hold on, I'm doing something, and you would know without them saying anything that you should stop and wait until you give the person your order, right? Or if the person refuses to look at you, that's another unspoken way for that person to say, I, I got nothing for you right now, just wait for a minute. All right, so as you go through the day, empathically speaking, watch and count the number of interactions you have without words. Uh, this also includes, watch if you're walking down the street uh, in a busy place, start to count or measure the distance between you and a person who's coming at you when both of you will signal which one's going left and which one's going right. This is very fascinating. I love to watch people do this. It's actually quite a far way away that you will look up, you will see who's there, you'll make eye contact with a number of them, and in some magical way you all tell each other how you're getting down the street without hitting each other. Right? So watch this empathic world. I've, I've heard a lot of, um, like, I don't know, old wives' tales of psychologists say that 90% of communication is nonverbal. I don't know about this 90%, but a tremendous amount of communication is nonverbal. And so we are always in empathic uh, and emotional contact with each other, even with people who are complete strangers, and all we do is say, I'm going left and you're going right, and we don't know that we said that, but we do know at some level. That's how we make our way through the world. Um, we are always doing this. We are always in nonverbal contact with others. Um, so, so put that in your, in your onboard computer and start looking at how much of your time is spent making nonverbal contact with others, especially if you're driving, walking, riding a bike, riding a motorcycle. How much time do you spend engaging with others without words? It's a good question. Call you Lynn. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.